Hello fellow collectors, how's it going? This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In this video, we are going to unbox and review this newly released figure of Hot Toys and this is none other than Bokatan Cries from the Star Wars The Mandalorian TV series, a 1-6 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to get notified once I upload a new video especially Hot Toys. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so this is the art box of the bo Cries Christ figure by Hot Toys. And I would say it looks terrific. It looks very neat. The standard design for Star Wars figures of Hot Toys, the black box, and of course the pictures of the figures which is amazing i would say those poses right and of course the team badge print of the mandalorian series line right here okay and of course at the back right there which is a common one okay so i'm excited to open this one i'm excited to see the figure let's open it nice uh, looks good and of course strong trooper picture here so this is the art cover print. I'll put it this here. And it's quite heavy. I'm not sure why. Probably. Oh, because of the backdrop. You see right here. Move those first. And you can see the packaging. It looks very neat. Very nice presentation of the packaging. Lots of accessories. So I'm gonna start off with the instruction sheets. Right here is the instruction sheet. It looks very thick. Okay, so I'm gonna get this one first. And this is the rail from the Imperial Cruise. It looks terrific. The paint apps looks very neat. You can see right there some weathering i would say just a little bit okay and there's some led bulb right here but it's not uh i mean you cannot light it up i wish there's some you know led effect there but it doesn't so yeah okay so later we're gonna attach this one so on the main packaging we got two pieces extra joint right here in black color Five pieces extra hands, different gestures. This one holding the weapons, holding the blasters, face gesture, and this one is probably for holding the rails. And this one right here is the fire thruster effects. Okay, and it's quite small, two pieces. And this one right here, kind of like a hook. Of like a grapple hook right there okay and this one is the pistol blaster and it looks amazing guys because of the color looks like a grasshopper <laughs> but i like the handle actually it's uh, kind of like a wood design which is amazing too and not only one it is two pieces there you go Wow, that is incredible, guys. Very nice design and details. Absolutely amazing. Wow. And then this one, not really sure, but kind of like a knife. You know, that probably we can attach to the, I don't know, maybe gauntlet. So later we're gonna find out. Okay, it looks good. Right there. This one is kind of like a bump. It looks like small bump I'm not also sure or probably some communicator so later we're gonna find out okay and we got the head cut of Bokatan right here it looks amazing guys she looks incredible yeah. the details right probably not 100% in accurate but you know, at least the resemblance, it's, it's still there. You can see right there the likeness. The hair looks amazing. Color, it's quite soft. 
because of the layer design so there's something like uh, there's a space you know underneath right it's like a double hair sculpt right there and the neck yes okay amazing and of course the figure the figure looks incredible guys wow amazing look at those details the tailoring it's so neat right the paint apps that was amazing whoa even the jetpack oh, absolutely incredible okay let me remove those plastic first This is amazing guys. The helmet, look at those prints, the paint application, those weatherings. Wow, that is fantastic. My goodness. Wow, this is really nice. So if you don't want to use the head scope of Bogotan, then this one is fine. Totally fine, you know. Good. It's amazing. Anyway, so later we're gonna review that. Let's get the base first. This is the base. This is the base. Love the design. The weathering looks like a 3D, right? That effect you can see right there. Very nice paint application. Some uh, flying holder, dynamic hold right here. For flying poses. Okay, that is nice. This is very secure i would say very nice holder for the dynamic pole it looks very secure and durable i would say you compare to the old design right here plastics oh also so this is the backdrop let's open it oh i see it's very simple I mean like not I don't think that you're going to use this one so probably just four pictures and uh, that's it all right so I'm gonna keep this one here on the side all right so I think that's pretty much everything included in the box so now I'm gonna check the articulations and attach those accessories all right so let's check the articulations I'm gonna start with the helmet or the head this one you can move up and down the range finder so front and up here so up, only up to here okay and then the helmet of course we could do 360 there and it's wow it's very tight guys and you could really hear those uh, sounds wow, so all the way to the back you could uh, you know move that head there you go and then look down yeah just the helmet there you go that's how it looks like and then up well, I cannot move the neck front and back so probably there's no joint on the neck part I mean here around here yeah, I could move the head but not the neck you can see right there right yes okay I think it's fine and uh, the look up yeah I don't know why I cannot really I am quite scared to you know push back that so feel like I'm going to break it anyway to the side right there the tilt wow that's the max mm, that's the max guys and the other side it looks fine but on the other side this one nah there's something here probably okay so I'm not sure later we're gonna find out once we change to the head stop of the Bokatan but yeah the articulations on this head um, with the helmet on I would say it looks fantastic Anyway, let's move on to the arms. There you go. So 90 degrees, I would say, okay? because of the armor, so it's kind of like bumping to each other already. So, so it's already blocking the range of motion. Okay. Um, although you could push more, but uh, hmm, I don't think it's not gonna happen because the fabric material is also. Uh, I mean, it's not stretch, so you can have a hard time to move that arms. If you're going to raise that arms to the front, 
I think only 90 degrees too. Yes, that's the max, guys. Same on the other side. And to the back. Yeah, so be careful in the armor. This one is, e is so easy to detach. Probably the Velcro is not really that strong. You know, if you're going to remove this one, you can see right there, it's quite uh, deep that uh, it's hard to connect to the other you know uh, velcro material so there you go wait it should be like this and then elbows uh you could swivel this one there's no swivel on the arms guys yes so there's no swivel on the arms that's it i would say 90 degrees that's the max There you go so it's not double jointed yeah so it's not double jointed so that's why it's only 90 degrees uh, although it looks good i mean like ratchet joints uh, it's just that you know the range of motion is, is quite limited i would say let's move on the wrist standard detachable anyway so let's move on to the waistline not sure if you could twist this one i think it's a max yeah just a little bit not really really big yeah it's quite heavy i mean like the quality or the material that they use on this figure is quite different you can see right there the twist arch no doesn't have so yeah i would say it's very limited guys i think they probably designed that because of the the design of her suit those details the belt right so that's why it looks uh, it feels very different guys anyway so yeah that's the articulations on the waistline doesn't have much and the uh, legs up to that's it that's it guys that's it and uh, the back and the front uh, this one is fine how come okay right there okay so that's the articulations on the leg part swivel a little bit just a little bit okay the waistline is quite high probably that's the design anyway let's move on to the knees part okay also 90 degrees also also 90 degrees okay there you go so it's also quite limited guys so that's how it looks like and also the ankle part this one just front and back you could twist a little bit there you go oh yeah you could twist this one is decent point flex i think that's it that's it for the articulation guys i would say it looks decent it looks good it's just you know uh, very limited because of the suit okay okay let me show you guys again those uh detachable parts those velcro design so this one velcro velcro design you could detach that yes also this one this one yes you can see right there so that armor on the front and also this one right here this jet pack together with that uh, armor you could also detach that okay and this one probably yeah you could probably detach this one if you're going to you know break it somehow <laughs> You can also detach her suit. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so if you want to fix it. Wow, it's like a double suit. So probably we could really detach this one. But it's quite hard for sure. Okay, and again, yeah, this one. You could detach this one. This one. And the belt, I'm not sure if you could detach this one. For sure, yeah. You can see right here. There you go. Okay, so the belt. Um, hmm, this one is a stitch to this main belt. There you go. So the whole belt is detachable. Okay, that looks great. Nice. You can clean this one. So you can fix it, arrange her suit. Also, this one is detachable. 
velcro design as well see on the other side very nice tailoring guys very neat i would say i mean incredible look at that right very nice especially those details those uh leather design patches on the side looks amazing guys okay so anyway let's um i think that's it so also this one is garter garter design you could also detach that this one is so on this part right here is also velcro design this sheen armor so you could fix that so yeah you could fix this one i think this one better yeah i think this one looks better okay there you go wow amazing okay so let's uh, attach those pistol first There you go. Okay, I love the look of those um, pleather uh, design of the belt and also those pouches. It looks, you know, very genuine, right? It looks amazing. See, it doesn't look like a pleather, right? So a high end, I would say. Probably they have some name on this one. I just don't know how you're going to call it, but uh, I would say it looks genuine to me. I love it love the color love the details right amazing see even those patches those leather patches on the suit also looks amazing and uh, this one right here also this one it's quite sick i mean the boots the quality also well you could really tell this was quite plasticky design and it looks like it's so easy to um to get flake but you know you never know but uh, this one also yeah it looks nice it's quite sick right, but more plasticky look i would say the designer compared to this uh holsters the, those uh pouches the utility belt yeah this one more genuine i would say love the wet rings on the armor amazing okay so this one you're gonna detach this part right here we can attach the dagger there you go so that's how it looks like right so there you go that's how it looks like looks really nice you could also use this um, hook here or if you want to use both then maybe you could use this one here there you go <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so yeah, should be here on this side, so you could attach and shoot this one here, and so you can detach first the jetpack and attach this uh, fire thrust effect. Okay. Now. So there you go. So that's how it looks like. Looks very very cool, guys. Amazing. Wow. Okay. And let me try the head cup of Bokatan. Let's attach the head. Whoa. Okay. It's also very tight, guys. You know, when you move her head. See? Down. Look up. So that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It looks nice. Amazing. See? Wow. Bokatan. Amazing. I think that's it. One last thing, guys. I didn't notice this one earlier. That's why there's something missing, you know, when I took out this base from the box. I feel like there's something missing. And yes, so there is no print on the nameplate or I mean on the bar right here. So yes so as usual you know qc problem it always happens uh you know qc problem of hot toys so i'm gonna bring this back to hot toy secret base to exchange and get the one with the name of bokatan cries yeah so this way there's something missing i cannot find the name of cries <laughs> so anyway 
yeah so not really a big deal but they will surely exchange this one okay there you go so i think that's it my final thoughts on this Bokatan Christ figure i would say she looks absolutely amazing a great looking figure definitely a must-have figure to any star wars fans out there especially mandalorian fans or if you are a fan of Bokatan Christ, i think you will love this figure however you might gonna hesitate to get one because there's a lot of flaws on this figure first the head cup if you are a little bit picky then you might not like the look of her face because it's not 100 percent accurate what i mean is the resemblance to katie sackhoff is a bit too strong so hot toys probably got a hard time to copy it but i think in my opinion they did their best it's just probably really hard you know for some reason however still amazing though you know the resemblance still fine still great she still looks Katie, you know, so I think it's fine. Uh, second one is the articulations, very limited, I would say. It looks like you could really do some nice poses, but once you start doing it or playing with this figure, you will feel annoyed and it will really test your patience. So be ready on that. But overall, this figure is incredible. I am really impressed with the details, the paint apps, weathering, scuffing. I think it looks perfect. I think that's another factor that you might gonna forget those flaws on this figure because it is a great looking figure you know especially the helmet love the details the print you know the tailoring terrific guys i would say it's just that maybe some flaws uh that uh, you know maybe not aligned but you know you're not gonna notice those things so i think that's it that's all I could say. Um, let me know your thoughts on this figure. Feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay? Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.